Hey, what's up guys? Got a new video for you. Um, take a look at a plugin from Blue Cat Audio, a company we haven't really talked about much on the channel. It's a it's called Patchwork. It's going to allow you to bring in VSTs and AUs into your DAW. Specifically, this is a big help for any Pro Tools 11 users, and maybe there are some plugins you wish you could use in 11 that aren't on AAX yet. This is going to help you out, and it's super easy to use. It's actually a really genius design. So we're going to go Blue Cat Audio, Patchwork. Now, depending on the channel you're working with, whether it's mono or stereo, just keep in mind, you know, you're either going to have to pull up the mono version or the mono stereo version. We're going to go mono. This is what it looks like when you open it. Got some settings and features and stuff up here you can turn on and off, like opacity, which is kind of cool. You can adjust the size of the plug-in. You can map MIDI controls to this thing. You can all kinds of stuff. It's pretty neat. Uh, you can adjust how many units or how complex the chain you want to be. I mean, you can go all the way up to like eight columns and eight rows. Um, and you can run plugins in pre, you can run them in post, and then you can run parallel change and adjust the blend, the phase. You can solo them in and out. And then you can adjust the mix of the entire chain as well right here. But to bring this back down, uh, let me show you how to load a plugin. You just click here. Obviously, there's no plugin loaded. I'm going to do VST, and let's do like, oh, here we go, uh, VCC. Um, this is an 11, and this is how I've been using it for the past couple of months since I've been on uh, Pro Tools 11. Bring it up like this. I haven't had any issues. It hasn't been buggy. You can come in here, use your plugin like normal, close it, open it. If you close this window, it's really easy to bring it back. You just click here, show editor, uh, and then you can bypass, copy settings, paste it to other parts of the plugin, um, rename the stuff, load audio units. If you want to get rid of the plugin, you just hit no plugin like that. And it's just a great quick way to be able to use some of the stuff that you're still waiting on. Hope that helps you out. Check out Blue Cat, they have a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I'm going to do a couple more videos of, over some of their plugins I've been using. If you're one of those guys that has been wanting to get on 11, but there's like two or three plugins that aren't AAX yet, this will help you out. Again, it hosts VSTs and AUs as long as they're 64-bit plugins. So anything that's 32-bit won't be compatible. Um, I think I'm like 99% sure that's correct. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.